I saw you in Wanderlust uh, just a couple of days ago, and you had me crying. I was laughing so hard in this movie. You're such a jerk. Thank and you. I, and I realized you, the, the character you played a role model is also incredibly obnoxious. Yeah. This seems to be a talent of yours. It's in my wheelhouse. I, uh, I have a little bit of a dick inside me. <laughs> not, 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 not literally. Not literally. Thank God Betty White's not here. I didn't. <laughs> I, didn't that I asked her to leave. I was like, you don't want to be around for this guy. Now, one of your jobs was to get the other actors to do some pretty intense and outrageous things. Yes. There's, uh, there's some full frontal male nudity in yeah, this movie. And I, I can't believe you, that's a, that, the actor who does that is a friend of yours. I couldn't believe you got him to do it. Old friend, Joe Latrulio. We were in the state together a long time ago. And um, thank you. I was, I was going to add recognition applause later, but again, you've blown it. Uh. Um, but uh, uh, we asked Joe to do the part, and we're like, it's a nudist wine enthusiast novelist. And, um, and uh, he's like, oh, of course, I'll do it. And then uh, like a couple of minutes later, he called back, and he's like, but I'm, so I'm nude? I have to be nude the whole time? And we said, yeah. And so we talked about, uh, we, we all thought it was probably best that he uh, get a prosthetic penis. Because, um, you know, when you're shooting, if somebody's standing around just naked, just nude, it's going to be uncomfortable for someone. It's either going to be uncomfortable because the guy's standing around nude when he doesn't have to be nude. Right. Or, uh, and then everybody's just uncomfortable. Like, we put, understand put why it would be uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Then, we got it. We yeah. know why. Yeah, Craft so you... service table with open <laughs> bowls of dip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Whoa. Hummus. And, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna move us on from that no, image, but uh, but we so like, so we got so we got him to. But wear, what is that? How do, so it's a prosthetic that, yeah, yeah. That, it, that goes over the real, you know. It goes over. So it's a it's a real uh, authentic looking penis uh, over uh, his real penis, uh, but for some reason it was very liberating on on set for all of us. Everybody felt much more comfortable to be around him. Because it's we, not re it's there, but it's not it's real. It's plastic. It's rubber. It, it but it, so so every you know people would like walk by <laughs> and. Like, <laughs> Yeah, is this on? Is this on? <laughs> but you couldn't do that with Joe's real penis, you know? You could. I mean, you... Well, we all experimented in college, right? We all went through a phase, I right, suppose. Uh, I'd be so awesome if after the second day he stopped wearing the yeah, prosthetic. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. Oh, no, and I'm not wearing it right yeah. now. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then tell you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello, is anybody there? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's there. Uh, we were talking backstage before the show. I yes. came into your dressing room, met you and your lovely wife, beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful woman. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I lingered too long with her. I know. I uh, should I? Long. Should I? You should fight me. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, but the, the, I went backstage, and you had talked about how you know you've been in this business a while, and that you you've been in tons. You've made guest appearances in tons a lot of, of shows. A lot like, of forgettable guest appearances, and and some uh, some worked on some shows that uh, people kind of recognize me from. But usually, I'm I'm approached by people who are like, Hey, uh, are you? I know you from some like what? Are you, who? How do I know you? Right. right. And then I have to. Say I, I don't I don't know. Do I have to give? I can't. I'm not going to give you my resume. That's just I, right. I don't, I don't know how you know me exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then and then they finally like uh, the weirdest ones are like the like the guys my age who are like Dawson's Creek. <laughs> you were Joey's professor on jo Dawson's Creek, and I'm like, yeah. I'm, and Is that you were on Dawson's Creek? I was on Dawson's Creek. Yeah, yeah. What was what? <laughs> Well, this is real. So, what were what were uh, what was your role on Dawson's Creek? I was her lit professor, and um, and actually, the, the the I still I don't remember anything, but for some reason, <laughs> I remember the first line of that show that I did because it was crazy ridiculous on how long it was, and it was about Judy Bloom, and I can I, I still remember it. And I think I'll probably they gave you a really difficult line to say about Judy Bloom. Yeah, so I just kind of kept saying it over and over again for the audition, thinking, oh well, it's not, never going to make it into the actual show, but for the audition, I want to be able to say it. Okay. So I will say it for you right now. If you say something negative, ne say something negative about Judy Bloom. Uh, I really don't like Judy Bloom books. Hey, don't knock Judy Bloom. Without her, my younger self would never have been able to decode the random acts of madness perpetrated by that fascinating creature known as the teenage girl. <laughs> <laughs>